hey there welcome back to my youtube channel this is zoe inspiration here subscribe if it is your first time today we are speaking about the proverbs 31 woman the one woman of noble character are you that kind of woman let's dive right in verse 27 she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness yes this is basically a woman who doesn't have time to be idle guys myself i'm always busy sometimes people think i'm hiding but no my life is so full because i have a lot i have my purpose i have my passions i have my career i have time for my friends my family like balancing all that is a lot i don't have time to sit around and i'm like oh my god what should i do uh, i don't because i'm always busy i plan for the year when i started some of you have resolutions even if you don't your purpose keeps you moving because you're always on the run so never eat the bread of idleness as a product that you want woman because that is not something that is admirable uh let's say you're just on the internet the whole day and you're not even doing something constructive i mean some of us are content creators that is good but some of you are just on the internet somebody help me with 5k somebody help me with makeup you're basically not doing anything that is benefiting you or the people around you and you want to get married this can also work for those of you who are already married i mean not everyone that is white material actually gets married not everyone that is white material actually gets married so still you can equip yourself with the knowledge of, a, of the proverbs 31 woman i never know your marriage could go back in place Today I'm going to be analyzing the wife of a noble character and how she actually used her character to balance her feminine and the masculine. Remember I said you can be masculine at your workplace but when it comes to your relationship you need to be a feminine queen. So Proverbs 31, 30 says beauty is fleeting, charm is deceptive but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised exactly so every lady out there if you're aspiring to actually get married have you looked at proverbs 31 the entire scripture because it's a simple guideline on how you can actually be the kind of woman that her man is proud of her, her husband is proud of her so i'm going to be analyzing the entire scripture and you must bear with me because we have to break it down i need you guys to understand that just because this generation has become modern and women are doing things that men can do we still have ladies that are actually doing their role and having the balance just like the proverbs 31 woman thank god i'm aspiring to be that woman all my life yeah so let's go to uh proverbs 31 the wife of noble character this is my bible because i'm not going to mislead you guys have your own bible and you can follow along so a wife of noble character who can find she is far worth more than rubies her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value she brings him good not harm all the days of her life so you see being that kind of woman means that you are a woman of reputation that is uh, verse 10 to 12 it means you bring your husband no bad thing when they hear that this is the wife misses someone you are actually a representative of his name because he trusts you that means your reputation has to be you know on top of the game and then when he's not around you actually represent him so before you think about saying i do are you that kind of woman that a man can be proud of introduce you to his friends his family and everybody around him without fearing that you will embarrass him because that is what the proverbs 31 woman does she is not bringing harm to this man by being part of his life so whenever someone asks you what you bring to the table this is part of you your character your reputation are you somebody before you become somebody else's wife 
So build on that reputation. Have a good name. It is far better than Ruby's, yeah? Because you want to be the wife of noble character who is far more than Ruby's. Ruby's have high value, but they say this kind of woman is far more wise than them. So are you that kind of woman? Uh, verse 13, she selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family and portions for her servant girls. So she selects wool and flax, guys. It means this kind of woman is a hardworking woman. She provides for her family, waking up before it is actually daytime. That is the character trait of a woman who is hardworking and you look out for your family. Are you ready to be that kind of woman? Because let's say that children are going to school. My mentor does all these things. She wakes up early and actually drops off the kids to school. And then there is another friend of mine who's married. She actually has to make sure her husband goes with tea to work, you know? So this is just basically the character trait of a Proverbs 31 woman. Hard working. You get up when it is still dark, you know? At least wake up by 6 a.m. and have that vision for your family. And then one thing I want us to note is that the Proverbs 31 woman has help. I understand some of you think that you have to do all these things alone and you don't need a maid. Honey, the Proverbs 31 woman has help because in, chapter, in verse 15, they say she provides food for her family and portions for her servant girls. It means that when you have the maids, personally I've had a maid before in my single life because I do a lot of work. You basically give these girls duties when the day starts. You could tell her, today I go to the market, buy this, and uh, then when it clocks this particular hour, I need you to cook this for the kids, blah, blah. Because you need help, especially in this generation, if the ladies, of those days had servants and maids it's mentioned clearly even abraham's wife sarah had a maid you know let's not get into that but the fact is some of you are out here saying you don't need help honey you do because the bible knows that you're gonna be working so hard and as a single person you cannot do all these things alone so don't feel guilty for having help in your household because the prophet that you are woman has help verse 16 she considers a field and buys it out of her earnings she plants a vineyard yeah let's pause right there so some of the ladies have this thing of i'm gonna be depending on my husband for all the financial help but this kind of woman is a woman who actually invests you consider a vineyard and you buy it that means you're investing you have the brain to invest even if you don't have the money you can use your husband's money to make it make more money so are you the kind of woman that has that mental capacity to actually invest what you're given and make it multiply because still you're adding value to your household you're looking out for it you set about your work vigorously you're not just sleeping and lazy what value are you adding to your household so any single lady out there if you don't have any work to do probably maybe you've not yet gotten lucky honey use your mental capacity be creative do something set about your work eagerly this kind of woman is not lazy verse 17 she sets about her work vigorously her arms are strong for her tasks she sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night that means that you're ready for disaster guys your lamp not going out at night. It's you ensuring there's safety in your household. I mean, let's say electricity goes. Do you have candles in your household? Basically, this is a woman who plans for her household. Because when you plan, disaster does not befall you. So are you that kind of woman, my darling, before you say I do? In her hands, she holds the distaff and grasps the speed of her fingers. Yeah, this is basically describing a woman who's hardworking, a woman who works. 
so it's all the same you know your task you know what to do and you set about it vigorously and you complete everything to perfection i'm a perfectionist guys <laughs> yeah in verse 20 she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy this is a woman who is charitable well personally i have zoe inspiration uh, though i've not seen it grow to the heights that i want it to Basically, when I'm looking out for my future, this is something I want to continue doing. Guys, opening your hands out to the needy is a very admirable character. So the Proverbs 31 woman is that kind of woman. She is charitable. When you have visitors at your home, are you generous with them? Because opening your hands out to the poor is actually being kind. Are you kind to the household? Are you kind to the people who are less privileged than you? Because that is a very kind trait to have as a Proverbs 31 woman. Verse 21, when it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. Guys, scarlet is very beautiful material. But let's get to that later. Now, making sure your household is dressed when it snows, it means, and you have no fear, it means that you, you're a good planner, like I said before. So let's say we have cold weather, we have cold weather, all these changes. As the woman in the house, do you have a plan for everything? Do you have cozy clothing for your kids? When it's raining, they need to be cozed up. Are you that kind of woman? You're a good planner, basically, because this kind of woman has no fear. Because she is a good planner, she plans for every situation in life and it ensures the safety in her household. So before considering settling down marriage, are you that kind of woman who is a good planner? Because it states it clearly here. Verse 22, she makes covering for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. <laughs> Guys, I am dressed in purple. Now let's get to the point. I actually dressed in this color on purpose to try and shun. I want to call out on people who say that ah being god fearing you have to dress in a boring kind of style you shouldn't be really stylish my goodness the prophet 31 woman dresses in very beautiful outfits yeah she makes coverings for her bed she is clothed in fine linen so sister out there make yourself look beautiful being god fearing doesn't mean that you should look bad that you should dress in cheap clothes fine linen guys fine linen see i've done my makeup my hair is on point i'm dressed in purple <laughs> okay it just basically means that you're a beautiful woman who takes care of yourself covering for your beddings you know you're taking care of the house guys making it look beautiful look at how i've decorated my own place the flowers you're that kind of woman that is beautiful even in your covering we've spoken about character but even in your covering yeah even for your household some of you are living in disorganized homes they are not even attractive to visitors please work on that because being a god fearing woman comes with you beautifying your household okay verse 23 her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land why wouldn't you respect such a man who has a wife of noble character because you just hear you're like oh my god misses something is really beautiful oh my god think about it the way she takes care of her children oh my god the way her husband is dressed oh my god that, that household is always happy it's always you know people are always having that high reputation of you because that family is admirable so in the end they just automatically respect your husband and which kind of husband is he he's among the elders he's an important man so as a proverbs 31 woman who are you submitting to because some of you are actually submitting to men that are not even at high in position. There are no men who are admirable in society. So it doesn't make any sense because here it says her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. Among the elders of the land. When we look at leadership, these are people that are respected. So is your husband respected? Some of you are dating men that do not work. 
they are lazy they are basically not respectable so however much you may be the proverbs 31 woman what kind of man are you with yeah verse 24 she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. Do you know what that means? You can laugh at the days to come because it has nothing on you. It's like me waking up in the morning and I move with my umbrella because I see the weather coming. I plan and I feel in my train, let me move with my umbrella. And then when it starts raining, I just laugh because I am self. I planned for this. I saw it coming. That is the kind of woman you're supposed to be. You plan ahead of time. You don't wait for danger to come and then act. But you act before. So do you have a plan for your family? Do you have a plan for yourself as a woman? Yeah? Because sometimes, let's say COVID came. Some of you fell into financial debt. Others became creative. Because those ideas were already written down. If this doesn't work out, what can I do? Yeah? So be the kind of woman who plans ahead of time so that you laugh at the days to come. Nothing will be scary to you. Verse 26, she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Guys, now this is where we say beauty brains. Some of you don't have the brains, but you're beautiful. But this woman, not only is she beautiful with a good reputation, a good name, she also speaks with wisdom. What kind of words come out of you? Some of you speak a lot of should I say hogwash? Like the words you say can basically kill someone in society. What comes out of you depicts what's inside. So let's try to work on our character traits. So that what comes of us is wisdom. How have you educated yourself? Like when I look at the word of God here, I am ever reading it and equipping myself with knowledge. When I look at the usual development books I read, Educate yourself, financial literacy, um, so many things are written down, a lot of knowledge is written down, you have a mentor, uh, if you don't have anyone that has value in your circle, look for people that can actually teach you, because we all don't know, so be a learning kind of woman, so that you have a lot of wisdom when you speak, people will be like, wow, the Proverbs 31 woman. Verse 27, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Yes, this is basically a woman who doesn't have time to be idle. Guys, myself, I'm always busy. Sometimes people think I'm hiding, but no, my life is so full because I have a lot. I have my purpose. I have my passions. I have my career. I have time for my friends, my family. Like balancing all that is a lot. I don't have time to sit around and I'm like, oh my God, what should I do? Uh, I don't because I'm always busy. I plan for the year when I started. Some of you have resolutions. Even if you don't, your purpose keeps you moving because you're always on the run. So never eat the bread of idleness as a proverbs 31 woman because that is not something that is admirable uh let's say you're just on the internet the whole day and you're not even doing something constructive i mean some of us are content creators that is good but some of you are just on the internet somebody help me with 5k somebody help me with makeup you're basically not doing anything that is benefiting you or the people around you and you want to get married. This can also work for those of you who are already married. I mean, not everyone that is white material actually gets married. So still you can equip yourself with the knowledge of, a, of the Proverbs 31 woman. I never know. Your marriage could go back in place. Verse 28. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praises her. Guys, of course, if you're this kind of woman, your own children see it. Like we had Mother's Day. I just called my mom after sending her money. And I was like, thank you for raising us. Thank you for being hard working. Because I have seen my mom do all these things. And so have many of you. So that picture that your mother gives you, is it admirable? If not, at least you can change your story. Be that kind of mother to your children and trust me, they will feel blessed. So of course the Proverbs 31 woman is a mother to her children. She's exemplary as we see from this verse. So we get to the verse I started with. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. That is verse 30. 
31. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Ladies and gents, that's the end of a Proverbs 31 woman it ends on verse 31. So beauty is deceptive, but a woman who feels the Lord is to be praised. Why do you fall, my darling? Because the Proverbs 31 woman is quite admirable. Let's all strive to be her as we take on our feminine journey this year. I've always preached, be softer, be naturally, but have a balance for your work. That is all you being feminine. Embrace your role and let your husband embrace his. I hope you love this edition. And yeah, this year you'll be seeing more of this, the Christian perspective on most of my topics because I am not afraid to share my faith with those of you that love my content. And I hope that just as God is helping me grow spiritually, that he will also help you. I am Zoe Inspiration. You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. That is all I had for you today. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more. Other than that, Happy Women's Month. Love you.